ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. Florence Ziegfeld. <laughs> The great Ziegfeld, I'm your obedient servant and willing slave till life's last act curtain falls and the world awaits its reviews. Oh, I'm really overwhelmed, Mr. Ziegfeld. Having you here is certainly something that's never been done on television. Ah, oh, apparently you missed me when I was dressed as a pickle on Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> a pickle? <laughs> only jesting, only jesting. Only for you, my dear. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Would I possibly appear on the tube? Well, Mr. Ziegfeld, I'm really honored. Of course you are. Mm. And just as so. <laughs> Julie, I have a great surprise for you tonight. I'm going to take you back to the days when I was king, king of Broadway. When I glorified the American girl with my dollies and the follies. Oh. But first up, dinner at Delmonico's. How exciting, Mr. Ziegfeld. Could we have a pickle? <laughs> Why not? Let's fill it up, my dear. <laughs> well, Julie, this is it. Delmonico's. Uh -huh. Marvelous? Tell me, what do you think? Absolutely breathtaking. No, not me, my dear, the restaurant. <laughs> just think, Julie, this is my town, my New York. My Baghdad, my Shangri-La. Well, it's just beautiful, Flo. And this is my suit, and my tie, and my arm, and my pierced ear, me too, and my teeth. Just think, you play your cards right one day, they may all be yours. Monsieur Ziegfeld, I have the table for you and the young lady. Ah, merci, très bien, yes. Here, my good fellow. Well, by yourself an American accent. Monsieur Ziegfeld, you are a <laughs> <laughs> it's like free for dinner, Julie. Sure, I'll help you over the hill. Yes. Poor oh, devil, I am the Lincoln of my crowd. Just think the chef is outside, hugging my car. <laughs> I love to make gravel. I suppose it's their way of saying thanks. After all, I made Broadway what it is today. Oh, but it's... Flo, didn't Broadway help to make you what you are? Are you teasing? Why, without me, Broadway would be nothing. Why would we be like... London without the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower isn't in London. There you go. It's nothing. And that's why I say it. So darn well I can do without Broadway, but can Broadway do without me? Can Broadway ever do without sick folk? You convince me. I agree. I glorify the American girl. Broadway may be the oyster. But I'm the pearl. Without you. Oh, you're right, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Monsieur Ziegfeld, are you ready to order? Ah, uh, we, oui, we, oui, yeah. Mr. Ziegfeld, I hope you don't mind. We have a new waiter tonight. A young man who is trying to break into the show business. Oh, really? How old is he? Thirty-nine. Oh, uh, Jacques. Oh, uh, Jacques. <laughs> Hello, folks. This is Jack Denny. I'm here to serve you, Julie and Flo, so I hope you like me, you see, and you know. <laughs> Gee, a, a cheap rhyme, my, my favorite kind. <laughs> Very good. Tell you what, son, here's a half a hundred dollar bill. If the service is good, you'll get the other half. 
I could tear a phone book in half, but I could never do that. Now, what are you kids going to eat? Well, I believe we'll start with a George White scandalous salad, followed by a... Yeah. I just remembered. Julie, we can't run or we must leave. What is it? The show, my darling, the show. Why, the curtain goes up in five minutes on one of my greatest extravaganzas. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Come, Julie. We'll munch in the night air as we walk down the Great White Way on our way to the Ziegfeld. <laughs> oh, Flo, Flo, what about the other half of the hundred? <laughs> oh, well, what's the difference? I wasn't going to spend it anyway. <laughs> Summer night. Little close, take a look. It's my city, Julie, my city. Oh, my goodness. The Ziegfeld Folly. Ziegfeld's Roof Garden Review. The Ziegfeld Silly Sayings of 1923. Ziegfeld's Newsboy. Ziegfeld's Lamp Post. Ziegfeld's Wino. Most important Broadway person I've ever met. Oh, you bet your sweet toppings I am. Now. <laughs> Look at my street, Julie. A million lights, they flicker there. A million hearts, be quicker there. No skies of gray on the great white way. That's my Broadway melody. Come on along and listen to me. Subway train, the rattle of the taxi, the daffodils who entertain, that Angelo's and Max's way. Well, the Broadway baby says goodnight, it's early in the morning. Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. I'm the tuxedo. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it? He used to be a bookend. Here we go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Mr. Ziegfeld, my name is George Burns. I'd like to be on your show. I'm great. Here's my card. I'm a comedian. I bought my wife a mink outfit, a rifle, and a trap. The rooms were so small, the mice were hunchback. I had a date with a Siamese twin. She couldn't get away. I was married in a garage. She couldn't back out. But seriously, I have been married 22 years, and we've only had one argument. It lasted 22 years. Then I do a big finish with a gorilla and a tuxedo and a golf routine. Boom, boom, laugh, laugh. You got yourself a hit one way over. <laughs> Yeah, that's just marvelous. He certainly is. Julie's right. Hey, kid. Yeah. Well, it's two hundred dollars a week, sound of you. That that that's great. Well, you keep saying it to yourself on the way out. Oh, oh, big fellow. Oh, am I glad to Myrtle, see you? Myrtle. Myrtle. Oh, yeah. This is an old friend of mine. The widow of one of the finest magicians in the world. The great Myrtle. 
Oh, my goodness, the great Myrtle. I remember him. He was the one who used to make a giraffe disappear in a milk bottle. Right. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, reappear in a sealed envelope inside Lillian Russell's bus. Oh, tell me how did you ever do that trick? Simple, the old giraffe switch. <laughs> Well, you kids go ahead and turn. I want to get that gorilla ready for the golf routine. <laughs> hey, Harry! You got that exploding pot on me? Oh, I tell you, it must have been exciting being married to the world's greatest magician. Oh, it was. He was so romantic. I'll never forget our wedding night. He sawed me in half and carried me over the threshold. Why? <laughs> All I had to say to him was, how's tricks? I've been busy for a year. <laughs> don't cry. You don't cry. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want a bunny? Honey? <laughs> You know, he told me that after he died, he was going to try to contact me from the great beyond. Oh, and did he? Well, I don't know. After he died, I had my number changed. If there's anything I hate, it's spooks bugging me. Julie? Tragedy is struck. Oh, Flo. My leading lady is locked in that refrigerator with a singing penguin. She always with a sucker for a guy in tails. Oh, no. Don't worry. I could go on in her place. What? Oh, come on, Julie. You'd never learn a whole score in 30 sec... 30 seconds. Could you do it? Give me that score. Hold those flowers. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Doesn't she make you sick? Good luck, you trooper. Julie, you're on. Goodbye, Murphy. <laughs> Someone I love to see In the sweet tulip time With his tulips to mine Just caressing, pressing tenderly And in each, every kiss There's an ocean of bliss And our wedding bells Hey, 
take a hit from the tulip, from the tulip, from the tulip. Take a tip from the tulip and hold your head up high and you of this big hit show to join us, Mr. Florence Ziegfeld. In flowers we'll spray, we'll keep the showers away. And in 